His second umbilical will retract just moments from now. There it goes. We have a go for main engine start. Intermediate, main, and... We have main engine start. Lift off. Engines at maximum thrust. And lift off. Lift off of the Soyuz rocket as Jeff Williams, Max Sarayev, and Guy Laliberté begin their journey to the International Space Station. Good pitch program, according to flight controllers. The Soyuz heading toward a link up with the International Space Station two days from now. 30 seconds, launch vehicle parameters are nominal. Good first stage performance being reported. The Soyuz delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and its single engine. That first stage measuring 68 feet in length, 24 feet in diameter. The pressure is normal. We copy and everything is nominal on board the Soyuz. Pitch and roll reported uh, to be nominal by Russian flight controllers. How about the Gs? One minute, 10 seconds into the flight, the velocity now 1,100 miles per hour. As on the simulator. Very well. Passing through maximum dynamic pressure. Clouds, so we can see you quite well. Excellent. About 20 seconds to go until the jettison of the four strap-on boosters. All systems reported to be in excellent shape. Yes, it's prior to the separation. One, one, zero. One, two, zero. We have separation. Two minutes, seven seconds into the flight. We have the jettison of the four strap-on boosters. The Soyuz now traveling 3,350 miles an hour. But now it's comfortable again. The pattern called the Star of Korolev now evident as the boosters fall away. It will start increasing once again. About 30 seconds from now, we should uh, be hearing the confirmation of the escape tower and launch shroud jettison. The launch vehicle. Yes, we copy. We can observe. Confirmation now of escape tower and launch shroud jettison. Coming up on the three-minute mark into the flight, the Soyuz traveling at a speed of 4,700 miles an hour. We have 180. Now a view of spaceflight participant Guy La Liberté in the right seat of the Soyuz vehicle. The Soyuz uh, performing nominally. Three minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. We can see. You're showing us the thumbs up. As far as we can judge, it means you're feeling good. He just said super. He said he is very happy. The crew reporting back uh, that it is in excellent spirits, heading uphill, three minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. The Soyuz second stage performing as advertised. This second stage, 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter. A single engine providing 96 tons of thrust. So far. Yes, same here. Launch occurred at 2.14 and 42 seconds a.m. Central Time, 1.14 and 42 seconds p.m. at Baikonur. Four and a half minutes into the flight. About 20 seconds uh, from the burnout of the core booster and second stage separation.
We now have confirmation of second stage separation. The four liquid fuel engines have fulfilled their role for today, now dropping away. Third stage. Four minutes of powered flight remaining. The Soyuz being propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz's third stage. This uh, engine now providing 30 tons of thrust to burn for about four minutes. Second stage separation is complete and uh, we could feel the G's. All of the Soyuz systems performing perfectly five and a half minutes into the flight. I can see Williams and we can see the lion. So everything is nominal. Yes, thank you. And we have 350. Other G's increasing, yes, slightly increasing. Six minutes into the flight, the Soyuz now traveling at about 10,500 miles an hour, all systems performing perfectly. Maxim, are they reporting to you on uh, their physical status? Yes, we are talking amongst ourselves. We are sharing our impressions and uh, our physical parameters. Coming up on the seven-minute mark, uh, Max Soraya, the Soyuz commander in the center seat of the Soyuz. Copy with Jeff Williams at the top of uh, the screen on his left. Soyuz coming up uh, on a velocity of almost 13,000 miles an hour, seven minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Once the uh, third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare the Soyuz for orbital operations. Those stored commands, called time tag commands, allow many of the Soyuz systems to be automatically activated by onboard computers.